Enantiomers are a pair of molecules that are mirror images of each other. It's a relationship between a chiral molecule and its mirror image. There are two different ways that you can approach drawing the enantiomer of a chiral molecule. So if you are given a molecule and you are asked to draw its enantiomer, you have two different options of how you actually could do that. The, for most students, the simplest way is to imagine a mirror and to just simply draw the mirror image of the original molecule which we have done a couple of times. So I'm starting with the six-membered ring. And then we have a wedge methyl group that is pointing towards the mirror. So that's going to be in this position right here, just like that. And then we also have a dash methyl group that is down here pointing towards the mirror. So it'll be right there. And then we have this dash methyl group sticking up. And so... Um, these two molecules, we say their relationship that they have with each other is that they are enantiomers of each other. If you're using this strategy, it doesn't matter where you choose to place your mirror, your imaginary mirror. You could put your imaginary mirror wherever you want it. So let's, let's, um, let's use this molecule down here and let's do the same thing, but let's, let's put its mirror on the bottom, like right here. So what if our mirror was right here? How would we draw that molecule? We would draw the carbon skeleton like that. I'm just trying to mirror first, just mirror this part right here. And then on this carbon atom, we have this dashed chlorine that is pointing away from the mirror. And let's skip over to the other side where we have this wedge fluorine that's pointing away from the mirror. And then we also have this carbon-carbon double bond, which is going to be right there. And we've got to really respect the mirror image thing, so we want to draw this methyl group going like that, so it's a true mirror image. So there's another pair of enantiomers, a molecule and its mirror image. The other strategy that is easier to execute, but it's a little bit more difficult to understand. So the other strategy is if you imagined that the mirror was on top of the molecule. So the mirror image or the mirror is right here and you are drawing the mirror image stacked right on top of that molecule. And so this is trickier to draw. In that situation, the because and I'm going to draw it to the right hand side, but remember that the actual molecule that I'm drawing is up here sitting on top. So in this situation, my carbon skeleton is not going to be mirrored. It's going to be exactly the same. The position of the of the dash methyl is still right here where this dash methyl is pointing down into the paper away from the mirror and remember the mirror is right here so that means that this dashed methyl also needs to be pointing away from the mirror the mirror is underneath this molecule right here so again, this is easier to execute, but harder to comprehend. So what about, um, what about this OH group right here? So the OH group is going to be located on this carbon. It's going to be right here. And let's think about what its direction is. So the mirror is right here on top of this molecule. And the OH group is sticking up at the mirror. The mirror is under this molecule, which means the OH group is going to be sticking down at the mirror. Um, again, difficult to understand, but simple to execute. Because if you look at these two molecules, you see that 
we kept everything in the exact same position, pointing in the exact same direction, but all that we did was change the wedge into a dash and the dash into a wedge. So let's try that over here with this molecule. Keep everything pointing exactly the same direction. So we're not changing the direction of anything, meaning that the OH group, which is here in our original molecule, is going to be here for this new molecule, but we're changing its direction. So instead of being on a wedge, it's now on a dash. The methyl group being here is going to still be over here, but we're changing its direction. So instead of being on a dash, now it's on a wedge. And the chlorine over here will still be right there, but instead of being on a dash, it will be on a wedge. So you have, again, you have two options to do this. You either leave everything alone so you don't change any position, leave everything in the same spot, pointing in the same direction, but change the wedge into a dash and the dash into a wedge. That's one option. And for most students, that's the easiest and fastest way to do it. Or your other option is to draw a true mirror image in which you reverse the position of everything. When you draw a, a true mirror image, you do not change a wedge into a dash or a dash into a wedge. So the wedge stays a wedge and the dash stays a dash. Wedge stays wedge and dash stays dash. What you cannot do is mix these two things together. You cannot draw the mirror image and change the wedge into a dash and the dash into a wedge. That's combining both of those methods together. And what actually ends up happening when you do that is you just draw two identical molecules instead of drawing two different molecules.